Hi, it's Maya here with my Friday Reads, and I'm currently reading two books on my Kindle. The first of those is Summer in Orcus by T. Kingfisher, which is Ursula Vernon's pen name when she's writing adult fairy tale books. And this is a fairy tale-ish portal fancy. The main character is a girl called Summer who meets the witch Baba Yaga, who sends her to this other world where she's supposed to find her heart's desire. I'm about 20% through and I don't really know the main plot yet. So far it's been Summer in the other world trying to find what she's supposed to do there. She has met a lot of characters already. I think she's just about to find what her main goal in this world is. It's very fairy ish very whimsical so far and I can't wait to see where it's going. I really enjoyed all of the other books I read by T. Kingfisher, so I think I'll enjoy this one as well. The other book I just started yesterday, and this is the novella The Dream Quest of Velit Bow by Keith Johnson, set in the dreamlands created by H.P. Lovecraft. Before reading this, I read the novella The Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath by Lovecraft, and it was so boring. I can't get the time of my life back. Yeah, I read that to prepare for this and sort of know the background, but I wish that I hadn't. It was not good. It was meandering, it was boring, it didn't really go anywhere. But now I have the background, so I started Dream Quest of Velit Bow. So far I only know that it starts in this university in the female college where the main character Velit Bow is a teacher and one of the kids there, the girls there goes missing or elopes or something and she has to go search for her and that's the premise and that's where I'm at. So I haven't read very far yet in either of these books, I'm very close to the beginning. I've been in a bit of a book reading slump, I've read a ton of comics during the first half of the year. Over half of what I've read has been comics. Now I'm getting a bit of a comics burnout so I think I'm gonna go back to books and I think the way to do it is to Try, try to read more of authors that I know that I enjoy. So the T. Kingfisher book is one of sort of that project of me picking up books from authors whose previous works I've put in my top 10 lists uh, in previous years or just my favorite authors in general. I have a bunch of stuff out from the library and then I have also a couple of books from my own shelves. From my library I have Three Act Tragedy by Agatha Christie, which is the next Poirot novel. I really enjoy the Poirot books. I also have the next Riverside book by Ellen Kushner. I'm really excited about this one. This is actually written together with Delia Sherman. It's The Fall of the Kings. And I enjoyed both of the books that I've read from Ellen Kushner before that. Then I have one of my favorite authors. I have The Broken Kingdoms by N.K. Chemisin. This is the second book in the Inheritance trilogy, I think it's called. The first book was The 100,000 Kingdoms. I really like that one. This is the second one, which I think sort of follows different characters. And finally, I have two huge Robin Hobbs from the library. I have the first two, two books in the Rainwald Chronicles. The first is The Dragon Keeper, and the second is Dragon Haven. I heard somewhere that she sort of wrote this as one book, so she started writing the first book, then it became so long that it got split into two books. So that's why I borrowed both of them at the same time. Then from my own shelves I have Mary Robinette Kowal's Word Puppets, which is a collection of her short fiction. She isn't one of my favorite authors, but I really loved her short story, Midnight Hour. And so far I think it's been the only short story of hers that I've read. So I'm really interested in this short story collection. Then I have Melusine, which is the first book in the Doctrine of Labyrinth series by Sarah Monette, who is the author who also wrote The Goblin Emperor under the name Catherine Addison. And I really loved that book. This is quite different. This is dark fancy, but still the same author. Then I have the second book in the Lady Trent series, The Tropic of Serpents by Mary Brennan. The first book, A Natural History of Dragons, was in my top 10 for last year. This is a good candidate as well. I am by no means going to read all of those books. I just wanted to get a stack of authors that I know I will enjoy and then whichever book I pick, I think it will be good, I hope. I'm going to show you one other book. This is a book from a Twitter poll because I wasn't sure which book of mine I wanted to pick up next from my physical shelves. 
And this one won the, won the Twitter poll. It's the Just City by Joe Walton. I've heard great things about this sort of philosophical fancy science fiction mix with Greek gods and robots and whatnot. So this is the next physical book that I will start reading from my own shelves and then something of those. I also still have two comics out that I borrowed for the Getting Graphic Readathon. I have the first volume of Spider Gwen and Linda Medley's Castle Waiting Volume 2, but I'm pretty sure I will not read these just now. If I want to read them later, I'll borrow them again because they need to go back to the library quite soon and I'm not in the comic mood right now, so those will most probably remain unread. So that was my books that I'm currently reading and a huge stack of books that I will maybe be reading soon. Let me know what you are reading this fine weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.